Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Well, as you, as I mentioned before, I'm here, or about to be, on my second day at the Satnam Fest in Joshua Tree, which has been utterly delightful. And uh, I had a thought yesterday after doing a, a lot of chanting and yoga, I had a thought about the demon world. Now, I know that I've discussed this from time to time in my blogs, and I know most people in America don't believe at all in all that stuff or, or understand the play of light and dark in the higher dimensions. Um, so every time I post or say anything about the demon world, because people are not like sentient about it, mostly in America, or it's not in their worldview, or Welton Chung, um, what happens afterwards is that I get, you know, I get payback from the demon world. I get a bunch of demon attacks. Uh, I, uh, right before I put out that thing about the demon world, the, the most recent three-part video with the introduction, right after that, right before that, there were many visits from the demon world. There were congregations of about, oh, six, six to eight demons would come on missions to prevent me from putting that video out. And so, and they would come around and, and they would pose it as a scientific question. Sometimes they'd say, we're a scientific expedition. <laughs> we came to find out uh, what's making you do this and like that? And, and then later they'd come back with the decision that, of the council, you know, the, the demon council, <laughs> uh, regarding, um, regarding the action to take to prevent that information from getting out to earth. So, so I'd just like you to know that every time I post something about the demon realm, there's immense payback for me. Payback first in the thought of it, and second in the execution of it. And following that, there will be a, a, a rewrite of history of massive proportions, immense proportions. So it pays to, to follow our highest, um, our highest intuition regarding if we serve the world, if our intention is to serve humanity, it's worth the payback it's worth the retribution and the vengeance of those beings to, to expose to the light what must be exposed in order for the ascension process to, to continue. Um, so if we accept this, if we let this go the minute that it happens, then we can continue on blithely. We need not be concerned about all that. For after all, that history of, of vengeance and retribution is the history of, of those folks, those other folks, and not ours. We of humankind, we are of love and light, and that is our real only concern and hope, is the growth of love and light in this world. Huh. So, so what I started to, to talk about before I got sidetracked by, by the wiles of demonry, <laughs> was this thing that came to me yesterday evening. Um, I was thinking of offering up demons. You know that, that blog that I did before and the video about offering up demons by cupping our hands at our foreheads and cupping both hands together at our forehead and, and it just imagining that the demons are coming down and being offered up to God. I offer these demons up to God. And I think that, the, that the, the refinement I have on that technique is that uh, before I used to think that, that through the agency of other human beings uh, in conscience regarding the, the, you know, the role of the demon world, I was receiving what you might say um, flurries of demons incoming because of their unconscious thought processes. And I used to offer their demons up to God, you know. And this is the refinement. The refinement is, at every moment, all I need to do is to offer my own demons up to God. It could be a feeling that I have that's not the highest light in love. It might be a feeling of, um, of being beset. It might be a feeling of, of sad, slight sadness. It might be a feeling of slight anxiety it, or, or grumpiness or any of those things. Whatever it is that I'm feeling that's not quite the perfect love, I can offer that, the, the demon of that, up to God. Offer the demon up to God, you know. 
And and if, as far as thoughts are concerned, I can do that too. I might have a thought that I'm bound and confined by other people's ways of thinking and other people's thoughts of, of controlling the world. But, but I can offer that thought up to God too. My thought that I am thinking that, that, that I am not the highest majesty of mind and, and, and heart. I can offer that up every time I think that. Every time I have a thought that I prefer not to think, I can offer that up. A physical pain, I could offer that up. I could offer that the demon of that pain up to God. You know what I mean? So I could, sp I could spend an hour doing that, and I would feel much better about it. And so I tried it, and, and it worked just wonderfully well. <laughs> I'm sneaking up. This is a very brave lizard here. <laughs>